training tip, I'm gonna be looking at kind of forward uh, tilting posture where we're in a flex position and ways in which we can help lengthen ourselves up and more extended, we're engaging more of our glutes, the back side of our body. And a lot of low back issues like I've had personally, it flared up in July, so it's really kind of brought me back into honing this issue. But most people have very tight quadriceps, okay? Quadriceps, so as those get tight, they pull us forward in this position. When that happens, glutes tend to turn off, low back gets tight, and this cross posture linkage, okay? So what we want to try to do is get our glutes to fire more, extend our hips, we lengthen out through our quadriceps. We got more breath to fire here, lengthens us up, opens us up through the front half of the body, front side of the body, and we get a little more engagement back here. What I want to show is in the mornings, for example, okay? You get out of bed, your body wants to go back to old motor, motor patterns, old habits, wants to lean forward, you're not as fully engaged, you've been laying in bed, your glutes aren't firing. And most of us sit during the day, so our quadriceps, hip flexors, overnight we'll just say, hey, we're getting a little tight. So in the morning, first thing I do, you know, maybe get my tea going, get my coffee going, I get down on the ground as quick as I can. This is a McKinsey protocol for people with low back issues. You're in a sphinx pose here, toes are pointing. You just maybe pan around here. Shoulders down and back, chin tucked. A little light, um, think about engaging between the shoulder blades lightly but not so much where you're really pinching and closing the area off, but just the idea that the back half of our body is engaging. We're keeping our lower belly breath here. It's a good way to help cue the diaphragm in the morning because we're lengthening out through this front side of our body. And it's helping lengthen those quadriceps, as you can see. We're gonna keep those hips pinned. And you'll notice it'll kind of lightly maybe engage your glutes a little bit. And so you can even just kind of squeeze them just a little lightly more than anything Focus on your breathing. And you might feel your shoulders start to get jammed and get compressed. The traps on the fire and get all of here. Just think, stay lifted, pull yourself through. And it doesn't have to be perfect every time you go down to do it. You're teaching your body to be in a more extended state, a more open state to where when you're standing, you know, because we lengthen out the front half of our body, it's going to cue us to be a little more glutes engaged, a little more open. And that's a great way I found to start my day. Start my training day when I'm just go, going around the house, getting myself going before I even get to the gym. <coughs> Excuse me, because it's communicating to my body saying, hey, back half of our body's going to be engaged. We're going to be resilient and build a structure against gravity where our body's moving freely instead of being just brought back down toward the ground in that kind of flexed state. So apply that, look to, you know, start your mornings with that. Look to, you know, in between training sessions, you know, if you're a jiu-jitsu guy and you're all tied up, all, all tense, do that in between sessions. You know, a good light way, if you're doing something else, computer work, way to take care of your body and not get into that even more flexed forward, you know, forward posture that just wrecks your body, wrecks your mental health. And I'm probably exaggerating a little bit there, but enough of this that creates the depressed energy. So if we can make ourselves lengthened, engaged, open, that's ex expressive energy. There's between depression, expression. We want to express ourselves. We want to be vital. We want to feel good. And those are the type of tips I'm trying to share with you. Help you feel better, help you move better on the mats, on the court, whatever, everyday life. Free book below, Movement Autonomy, How to Move Better, How to Be More Resilient, and have a sound structure so you can be a better mover and perform better in your life. Click below, give us some love, like, 